name is Logan Hicks. I'm a stencil-based artist who currently lives in New York. So I'm currently in Paris for the Festival America. Uh, this is the second time participating in the Literary Festival. And this time I came here with Joe Irado, who's a partner that I work with frequently in New York. We do murals and we've done shows and, and things like that. So we decided to tackle the Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven as the inspiration for the mural that we're doing. And, um, you know, it's the first time we've worked out of the country together, even though we've worked, uh, you know, inside New York frequently. My name is Joe Ayorado. I'm a stencil artist. I live in uh, New Jersey, United States. Been there my whole life. I live in a small town not too far outside of New York City. Logan and I have been friends uh, about 12 years or so. We've been years for friends for a long time. Uh, originally, Logan was a mentor to me. Uh, when I was getting into stenciling and I was really wanting to learn more about different styles and technique, um, I reached out to Logan. He gave me a lot of guidance. From that, we, we just became very close friends and eventually we started to collaborate together. Our styles, even though we both work with stencil, our styles are very different. We work uh, very differently in, in our approach, so it shows two different sides to the same technique. And uh, we just found that it works together. So often, you know, in the studio with canvases and, and, and paintings, and also with murals in, in the street. The way that Joe and I work is usually he does the foreground. I'll do the background and you know we kind of would go back and forth with different ideas so we know pretty much exactly what we're going to do before we show up. Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven is a, is a favorite for both me and Joe. Once we saw the wall and we saw how that there was the window in there we thought it offered the perfect opportunity to have the raven perched on top of that similar to in the story when the raven's perched on top of the door. Uh, for myself I work in patterns frequently and so I use the raven as the inspiration for the pattern and so the, the two work really well together. I end up doing the background, he ends up doing the foreground. Logan creates the sort of the environment or the atmosphere. He does a lot of pattern work, very intricate stencil work and then I'll create the, the sort of main figure oftentimes in the piece. He works a lot with color. I prefer to work in black and white. The contrast between the two are very different, but they work well together. I don't think either one stands out. It all just works very harmoniously. We usually approach our work in the same way, but then we work separately oftentimes to create our, our pieces. Using literary inspirations for the mural, for Joe and I both, I think that whereas an author would paint an image in words, uh, we, you know, we paint it in, in graphics, but being able to kind of go back to literary works and read and, and have that turn into a different world and find a way for us to translate that. Books have been a huge source of inspiration and, uh, you, know, you know, since the beginning. We create the art that we feel uh, is, resonates with us first. It feels good to us and then I hope that people enjoy it as well and, I, and that they can sort of look at it and see it as a new interpretation to, uh, to a very classic poem. Maybe not a, immediately they will know that it's a, a nod to Edgar Allan Poe or the Raven. It doesn't say it on the poem but the same feeling that the poem gives you, I hope the artwork gives you the same feeling that that gives you. It's mysterious, it's a little bit dark, it has the mood and the vibe of the poem that we love and that's what we try to accomplish in the illustration. I think with any good art, 50% of it is what is on the wall, 50% of it is what someone takes away from the wall. I feel like my job as an artist is to put a visual out there that someone can inject themselves into. Whether or not it's just simply someone loves birds, whether or not it's someone loves Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven, whether or not it's someone likes patterns. I feel like successful art allows the viewer to see a little bit of themselves in it. And I think unsuccessful art tells the viewer what they should think. So for me, it's my job to put something up that's the start of a conversation instead of the end of a conversation.